George, at this point, had there been any discussions about keeping the buyers of Hunter Biden's art anonymous? Because remember, the White House was telling us that there was going to be a separation between Hunter's art dealers because there was a concern that maybe somebody would buy his artwork for $250,000 or 500 grand, and then that would basically buy them access to the White House through Hunter Biden. The agreement just specifies what George can do. It doesn't specify that Hunter can't figure out, just specifies that George can't tell him. Amazing. So he says, I believe on the first one, in the first contract, he was able to know who the buyers were. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how it was phrased, but I remember there, you know, that was the difference. Jim Jordan jumps in. He says, is that normal or unusual? Or, or where's that? Is that a normal kind of contract? That part was different. Normally, the gallerist does not let the artist know who the collectors are. So Jordan says, so Hunter Biden wanted to know who was purchasing his art when he first started with you? And Jordan's like, yes, perfect. So he says, that was the initial contract, correct? Mr. Burgess, he says, yeah, that was the initial contract, correct.